Mr. Obsolete here. Well, the spring is here. It's hard to believe that three and a half weeks ago we had a foot of snow, but the lawn is growing and the buds are coming out. So this will be the first time we mow this season. This old lawnmower here is about repurposing. I had uh, gone into town about 10 years ago, 10, 25 miles away. Got a sarsaparilla for the way back and about halfway back I needed to stop and water the bushes. So I pulled off on a little dirt road. It's a big wooded area there. And after the tree got serviced, I saw this lawnmower laying in upside down on a pile of junk. I flipped it over and checked it for compression and stuff. Everything seemed to work on it. So I brought it home. And the only thing that was wrong with it is it had a small crack in the gas tank. And about two years prior to dragging it home, I had been at a estate sale and the lady's husband that had the stuff there, he used to repair lawnmowers and garden tractors, and she gave me three boxes full of parts. Well, it was a perfectly fitting gas tank in there. So I brought it home, put it on it, changed the oil, sharpened the blade, put a new spark plug in it, and been using it ever since. So this has got a couple of features on it. This lid here stays down all the time. It's a self-mulching mower, but it means it picks up the grass and recuts it, and then the mulch drops into the grass, but uh, since the grass is fairly tall, we won't use that. So we're going to use our factory approved anti-mulching device. That way when it gets a lot of grass in it, it can come out. So we'll get her fired up and just uh, hit the primer bulb a few times. Start right up. Okay, well, we're ready to mow. There's actually a method to my madness of mowing. So what I'll do is I'll come around the outside with the chute towards the inside, make a complete loop around, and then I'll come back through the center, and then I'll go to the outside and mow around the outside, and that'll put the grass out away from where we're mowing. And once we're done mowing and stuff, then we can we'll scoop it up and put it in our mulch, in our garden mulch, and it really works great. So I'll go get the mower going. tips for keeping these old lawnmowers running forever. These old flathead Briggs and Stratton engines are very durable if taken care of properly. So the one thing you want to do as soon as you're through cutting, especially in hot weather, is to run it about half throttle for about a minute to cool it down before you shut it off. Now the other critical thing is the type of oil used in them. Regular car motor oil destroys these mower engines. It doesn't have the additives that they need. So. Briggs and Stratton and Honda and others have oil specifically for these engines. It's, re it's expensive, it's about seven bucks a quart, but well worth it. But what I do is you use a mixture of regular motor oil with a 10% STP in them. It has all the additives and stuff you need in it to make them last forever. We had one of these when I was a, in grade school and I bought it new from Montgomery Wards. We used it for 36 years before the deck rotted out on it. Never went into a shop for any repairs. So these engines are really great. 
Um, this is a generic, probably sold by Lowe's or someone like that. I'm thinking it's probably mid 80s. And uh, parts are readily available for them. Simple to fix if you have a mower shop that can actually has a mechanic on duty instead of a parts changer. They can make these things run forever. And the other thing is gasoline. If you have the availability of non-alcohol fuel, uh, alcohol ruins the rubber seals and stuff in the carburetor. So before you put them away for the winter, uh, shut the fuel off or drain it, start it and run it till the carburetor runs out of fuel and the engine quits. Take the spark plug out, squirt some oil in there and pull it over slowly just to distribute the oil. Put it together and it'll be ready for next spring. So we'll see you on the next video.